Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is my offering for the event, hashtag love summer art. And it is going to be running from the 17th, which is today until the 20th. So all you have to do is go into the YouTube search bar and put in hashtag, the sign hashtag love summer art, and you will see hundreds of uh, content come up from all of us artists on YouTube and um, please go check them out. Give them thumbs up, leave comments. It's very important and um, I hope you enjoy my painting. So I have been loving doing faces uh, and, and hair and just, I don't know, just very big faces. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do today. So how I'm gonna start out is And I know I've done a million face videos. I've done all that, but it's okay. Um, this is just how I'm, I had shown this picture of a uh, canvas that I had done, I think on Instagram and maybe on my Facebook page and people were writing me, can you do a demo on that? Can you do a demo? So I'm going to just kind of show you how I do it. So what I first do is I just take a pencil. I'm using watercolor paper and I know I want, I like big hair. So I'm just going to sketch very lightly kind of, you know, where the hair is going to be. And I can go outside those lines if I want, once I paint it. It's just to kind of give me an idea because I want the head to be, you know, fairly big. I want her to be the main thing on here. And then I'm going to go in for the eyes. So, so I have, see how I drew the hair kind of on the outside and I still have that in part for the eyes. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of, it's a little wide, then I wider one than I want it, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to go in and do eyes. And what I'm going to do first is put a line here and a line here. Now I suggest when you're doing faces, because my hands don't work so well, and sometimes they come out a little crooked, crooked. So what I'm going to do, and that's why I use pencil. You can use any pencil. I use mechanical pencils, but you use whatever pencil you want. So what I'm going to do is put the line for her eye here and there. And that gives me a general line. And then I want to go kind of down the middle here. That's kind of where I'm going to move it over a little bit more. And her nose around here and then her lips around here. And that's it. Just very simple line structure for me to uh, work on. And like I said, this does not have to be everything right now. It's just so I have an idea. And I suggest you do that. And I'm also going to put just a little bit of her neck in there. And I'm going to go to town and draw. So what I'm going to do first is make <clears throat> eyelids. And that's a bit long there, so you can measure it if you really want to be on point, but nobody's eyes are the same. So I just, that's why I use a pencil. And then I'm going to make her eyes go down like that. And erase the line. Gonna give her eyelids. And then add in her eyeballs. And you can use your uh, circle. Matter of fact, I have, I'm gonna be doing it on um, soon and putting them in my Etsy. But I'm going to make some cir circle templates because a lot of you ask me for them and you know so that's what I'm going to do but uh, see how you use it you'll just put it there and you'll go in and you'll get like a perfect circle and what's great with circle templates is you can use them in different type uh, applications which I'll show you but there we have our we have our eyes so far all right, her nose is a little low than I want it. So I'm gonna 
And you always can tell, you know, once you get those eyes in. And uh, so I'm going to put her nose. Right there. And then I'll work with that a little bit more. If you want her, as you can tell, the closer the nose is, like the closer to the eyes, <coughs> the younger they look. So let's say I don't want that. Then you can just move it down some. And you can use your, your straightener. You can use your straightener. So you know where the line is, right, in the middle. And then you can definitely... Um, your nose and I'll be erasing it and doing it a little bit better but I just have it in there and then we're gonna do the mouth and all for the mouth I'm gonna put a line going across if you hear thundering and lightning it's because we're having a massive storm and I've been waiting to get on to do a video because it's been so bad out but I don't feel like waiting anymore so I'm gonna do it okay so here's an easy way to do the lips just take two of your circles and you want to do, and you want them to touch. See how we got that? Looks like she has a fat lip. And then you want to add an oval. I should probably move in a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. And then what you do is just Take it down to the line, trace it on top, and then take it and connect it there and connect it there. Go in, erase your extra lines. And you have lips. And you can just leave that in there. You could do a little lip dip there if you want. I'll be erasing all this. This is just my, my lines that I like to use. Okay, so we have a face. Now, I'm not obviously not keeping the hair like this. This is how I do it. You definitely can start to paint right now, but how I like to do it is take my eraser. Now I have where my hair goes, so I can start there. And if you don't get all the, all the lead out, <laughs> Dion, that's for you. If you don't get all the uh, lead off your paper, it's all right. It just adds some texture. Give it a wipe. You can see this wasn't the best eraser for me to use, but I can't find the other one right now. And that's how we're going to start her. Now, what I also like to do is give a very light erase. This is how I do it. I've done it since I've started this. People go nuts when I erase. But you can see that I can still see. I can still see the face somewhat. Now what I like to do. Now I like to use my Stabilo all pencil because I like the smudgy kind of thing with it, but I'm not going to do that on here. I'm kind of going to keep it, you know, straight on. So what I'm going to do first is start a background and I'm going to avoid the eyes and the neck area, but I'm going to do a mixed media background real quick. And I always start with light and I'm using a Deca Art Media today, their fluid acrylics, which I love. And I'm just putting some drops down. I'm not uh, a little bit of crumbs. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to take my big brush and I'm going to start. I did not just so, and I know I'm putting hair up there, but I'm not caring right now. I'm just going to add some of this. And if you go into the face area, it's not going to hurt anything. We're going to paint. So right now we're just getting some texture and paint on here. Ok, 
Okay, and we'll pick, that was a light yellow. I'm gonna use a medium now, which is more of a gold kind of yellow. I'm gonna run it up the sides here. And just use it like a scrub brush almost and just get that in there and scooch it around. And covered the best you can and these these really these fluid acrylics dry really really fast so I really really like them now I'm going to use some cadmium orange which is from let's see if you can see yep all right it doesn't want to come out why is it not coming out no idea, but I'm just gonna take it from the lid. I'm just gonna add some, the same. You can water this down, but I'm just adding some. And you're gonna see what I'll do next. Now you can add a little bit of water on your brush to blend it a little bit. Give it a little bit of a watercolory look if you want, but you don't have to. Just blends it a little bit better and you can also use blending gel blending stuff okay now i like it to be a little lighter around the face area before i go in there but if you don't don't worry about it you do what you want so now i'm going to add some um, stencils in just for some of the delicious background. I'm not going crazy mixed media, but you know, I want to do some, just a little bit of texture. So I'm going to start with these. This is just a stencil. Sorry. I don't know the names of all of them or where I got them from, but you know, they're just flower stencils, whatever you have. And I'm going to use some blue and I'm going to add it onto my mat right there and I'm gonna take a scruffy brush and I'm gonna scruff it in there get it all over the sides and then I'm gonna go to town here and you can go like this and swirl it around so you get like a lighter hold your stencil down but I'm gonna need a little bit more paint but let me show you what I mean about this now I'm leaving that background look how cool I'm leaving the background um let's see if it does it better this way blend in. I did not dry the background. Um, I'm going to, but first I want to lay some of this in. So I have some lighter textures and then darker textures. So just kind of go where you want here. And you don't have to get the whole thing. Like, so you can tell what it looks like. You don't necessarily have to do that, especially when you're doing background like this. And because I'm not doing paper, you know how I take scrapbook paper and all that kind of thing? Because I'm not doing that, this is going to add that to the painting. And that's why I'm doing this. Um, normally for mixed media, I would cover the back with all kinds of different papers and textures and music sheets and all that kind of stuff you've probably seen me do a million times. I'm adding this kind of texture in, as you can see, but I'm adding it with paint and stencils. So I'm still going to have that, that uh, texture peeping out at me. So I'm going to do here. I'm just go around in circles. I swear that's all I do sometimes is go around in circles. You know, just run it. You just want to shade the shade coming through. See that? And you could, I don't know if you can, how well you can see that, but it's coming through that. I have that, it's very uh, rainy here and storming and crazy. And so the light's all weird here. I get it set up one way and then don't you know, it uh it changes 
So I'm going to take some green. This is Yellow Green Light by Deco, uh, by Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylic. I love these fluid acrylics. I cannot have enough of these things. And I'm going to take another stencil here. Somebody sent me. I wish I could remember who. I'm horrible with names. But you know who you are. I use it all the time. And I'm doing the same thing, just kind of going around. And look at that. Okay, and I'll do one more. Over here, just a little bit. Nothing major, but you could see it pop up. And then one more over here. Good, 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 good. All right, put that in there for a second. Now let me show you. See how that is just in the background? Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, what color? I just had it here and I lost it. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, some Titan Buff, and this is also the Fluid Acrylic from Deco Art. And I'm going to put a little bit here. I'm going to take my big old brush, going to wet it. And you see, I'm wetting it a lot. And I'm just going to take it down to calm some of this down, to push it in the back. And because these are all permanent when they dry, the acrylic, you're not going to get smearing or smudging. It's just pushing all that bright color back a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to throw the rest of this over her face, just kind of scrub it on there. Whatever's left will act a little bit as a gesso on here, but I'm not looking for anything too coverage, too much coverage rather. Okay, so we got that. And I'm gonna just blow everything dry real quick. start in our face a little bit here before we go on to the well no you know what let's do another let's do the outside coats now I want to make my um, outside more pronounced so to say and what I'm going to use is where did I put them da, da, da. I'm going to use some pans and cells. I'm just going to take my pan pastels. We're going to just play for a minute with them. Add a little bit more texture. I'm going to use my green. Get that loaded up. <clears throat> take... Oh, let's do this. We didn't do this yet. Take it over here and lay that down. See how that comes? I don't know how well you could see that. Can you see those up there? I'm gonna lay some here. 
See how it gives that nice color? And then how that's a little bit of purple. Let's see what purple does here. Yeah. I like it. So I'm just going to kind of rub it up there. I'm just going to clean off the rest of my sponge with my pastels on. Not worry about it. Adding a little bit more texture. Love it. Okay, so let's take, I like to use uh, Ceram Coat uh, Santa's Flush. And what I'm going to do is just kind of put it on here. Take my brush and just go around and kind of draw the shape I want of my face with my brush. Now you're going to hear my dog in the background, my one dog Rocco, because he can tell that a storm's coming about, I don't know, an hour and a half before it comes, if not more. And he's very upset over this whole storm we've had because we've had a bunch of storms way more than I ever thought we would already this year so he's a little a little messed up today between last night it stormed all night and thunders and lightning and still doing it it's a little crazy all right so you can see I put my face color in there now what I'm gonna do is look for what the heck I did with my paper towel there it is. I'm gonna draw this for a second and then I'm gonna go in and add features and you can see a little bit of my pencil coming through I don't know why I'm so bright here but Let's see, I'm gonna use my, let's use a small paintbrush. Small paintbrush, and I'm gonna use the color, what color, what color? Let me find, not gold, but let's use some yellow ochre. brush in there. I just got a little brush and I'm going to follow inside and kind of trace my eyes. Rocco, lay down, baby. It's all right. Oh, that's a sin. You see, I'm just tracing where I have my eyes. Now you can make, I have a video where I make my own flesh color from just regular primary color. So you definitely can do that as well if you don't have <clears throat> a flesh color. And then I'm just going to kind of put in her nose. And start there a little bit more and do their eyelid and I'm gonna go down the neck here it's just a little contouring okay and I'm gonna let that dry Okay, so now I want to, I can see that the jaw is a little wider than I really want it. So I can go in now with, I'm going to take a little bit of yellow. And I'm just going to edit it. And this is how I do it. I just edit it. 
and I can, I'm going to go in and put hair and all kinds of stuff, but to get close, let me get my primary yellow here. And I'm just going to put a little, little dot on both sides and make her face a little more structured. I'll do it over here. There we go. See how that just changed the whole shape and the whole look of it? And then just take whatever yellow, if you have a little bit extra, and just kind of blend it out because it's just adding some more deliciousness to your painting. And remember, you have your pan pastels on there if you're using the pan pastels or any type of pastel that you have. So just be careful when you do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to add her hair on now and I'm going to make her hair red. And I'm going to use uh, Pyrrol Red. Okay, and I'm just going to start with a little bit. And I still have a little bit of yellow on my brush, and I'm not worried about that. But I'm going in, and I'm going for it. I love just to go for it. And I know I'm going to be over a lot of the paints and stuff in the background, but I don't care. It's going to peek through. And that's what I want. Let's just get that out there. Yeah. And I'll add texture and all kinds of great stuff. So get that down. Take it as close to the face as you can. We're going to take it off that, off the, uh, forehead. I just love big hair lately, probably because I wish I could just wear my hair big all the time. As you notice, I hardly ever use palettes. I will either throw it on here or, and I have a million palettes. I always want to use them, but I just don't. I always forget to grab them. Run that up. That background covered. Now you can see big forehead. We don't want that. So I'm going to go in. And I think it's because I wear my hair on the side. I always do side. There we go. And you can see my brush is dragging a little bit because it, it gets a little frilly, like a little, uh, you know, fuzzy, I guess is the word. But that's okay because we're gonna we're gonna go in and add all kinds of texture and stuff. All right. But that's what that means is when you get those not crisp, clean kind of things, you get um, it's your, that your brush is dry. All right, I'm gonna add some. I'm gonna take just some paint off my brush here onto a small paintbrush, and I'm gonna go in and do the eyebrows. Just like that. Because I don't necessarily do pretty girls, I just like to draw. So <laughs> I'm not really uh, worried too much. All right. Now, what's going to be nice is some of the, um, get the rest of this in here. The pan pastel is going to come through because it's, you know, it doesn't like to be covered. I did extra over here because I'm going to put, uh, I'm either going to put a headband or a big flower. So I haven't decided that yet. But you can definitely see underneath how much, uh, you know, how much shows through. I hope you can see it on the camera. Blame the storm with these weird lighting things. All right. So we have that. And what I'm going to do is take my small brush again. I'm going to make sure it's clean and dry. And I'm going to take, um, I think I'm going to take some kind of highlights. I, I might just take some Payne's Gray, which you can just use black. 
I'm going to just put it on a small, just a small little bit because I want to have I just want some texture. And I'm not going to keep it this dark. Just one second, you'll see. Just kind of adding some layers and texture. And there's no rhyme or reason, so don't sit and think like, oh, I have to do it. it, it there's no rhyme or reason. It's just pulling it through. Just gives her a little bit of something. You know my girls are a little, like I said, I don't do pretty girls. All right, so then I'm going to take my damp paper towel or whatever you're using, and I'm just going to go in and I'm patting it up. And you can definitely make it a little bit wetter if you want. But... I'm just going to go in and take that harshness off, although I love the harshness. Give it a twist. I twist it. I do all kinds of weird things. And I will go back over with the red again to tame a little bit of it down, but not a lot. See, and she got the hair. Okay, so now let's work on the eyes. And I'm going to make her have, where's my... Where's my light blue? I had my light blue here. Yeah. I'm going to take my light blue. This is cobalt teal hue. Hue. And I'm going to take some. And I'm going to go in and just kind of trace where my eyeball is going to be. See how it starts to come to life? And you definitely can play at this point if you want the eyeball to be a little bigger, a little smaller. It doesn't matter. I always start lighter because I'm going to go in with a little darker. Around it. And you can see right here I messed up a little bit. It's no big deal. It's not a big deal. Okay, so the lips, let me work on the lips. I'm gonna do, should we do red? Let's do a uh, red orange for the lip. And I'm just gonna go in. See, I'm just coloring it. I'm going to outline it, but for now, I'm just kind of going to lay the, get the lip laid in there. And you can go back, make sure you have enough paint on your brush. Here comes the pouring down rain again. Here comes the rain again. Hold your paintbrush down towards the, the brush more when you want more control. Sometimes I do that. You guys know I go like this and I'll throw, and I'll probably throw some of these in the highlights and I do it like that. So it's more uh, easy going, I guess is kind of the word, but this, you know, you can have a little bit more control and I'm a control freak. There, we got her lips going there and then take the rest of your paint. I put water on it a little bit, make it inky, that's what I call it. And I just go in and throw, no rhyme or reason, I just throw it in there because it's all going to add dimension. Oh, 
I might even use this just a little bit for for that. work on I'm going to take some more of that yellow ochre put it a little bit on my brush and I'm going to go down here and give her a little bit of a chin because we all kind of want a chin don't we do a little bit of shadowing This, now look, I can just take my brush, wet it, blot it off, but I could take some of that paint off if it's too much before it dries. I was just giving her a little bit and I was just going to kind of tap it with a clean finger if there's a little puddling but we can definitely go over and with the face and the kind of the face color rather and take care of that that's not a big deal I'm gonna take some go in here And then I'm going to take how about some dark turquoise, a little bit on my brush, kind of dab it off. Just going to follow it in, put a little bit of specks in there. like that and then we'll put the pupil in much water on that one. Got our pupils in. Gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna outline the eyes and the nose. So now I'm gonna take, oh gosh my Itchy back, itchy back. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit more of my red. I'm just going to plop it here. Two drops. Take my brush and go over it all again. Try to get it a little more smooth on those outsides. better. Okay, good. 
Now I want to do a crown. bright colors. So let me dry the hair. Stencil. And I'm going to do different colors in her hair. All right. Here's hoping, right? I'm going to use my light blue. We'll start there. And maybe I should start in the middle. I want her to have bangs, but I want it to go down like that. So let's do that. And let's find my little brush. I'm going to do that, hold it down, and go for it. And let me see how bright it gets, because it might not get that bright. I might have to put, yeah, I'm going to have to put, uh, what's it called? Do, 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 some gesso. But maybe I'll use some tinting base with this, with all my colors, because then, It'll make it that color. So I'm just going to put some of this tinting base all over there. And a little bit more of the blue. And mix it all together. A little bit more blue. I think I put too much tinting base in there, but that's okay. And we got one. I dropped some white paint there, but that's okay. We'll fix that later. I got one. And I want to do one down here. touch all that up after but if you don't you know if you see what I'm doing and I'm moving the stencil just wipe off your stencil because what happens is underneath it seeps you know seeps through and then you know you're kind of but look it's art it's not perfect it's just having fun so we have our three colors now the other color I want to use and I'm going to use a different different uh flower or do I yeah maybe I'll use this other flower I'll use this end flower okay and then I'm gonna take that again I'm gonna wash that off get that out of there take some yellow with that tint base, I'm just going to add a couple colors, a couple drops rather to that, and mix it together. And then go for the flower. one flower and two flowers and I can always go in and tighten those up a bit but that's gonna be like her 
her thing in her hair. Right, okay. I might, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add a little bit more tint base to that. Like that. I might go over them. what I wanted. Don't be afraid to just put your stencil back on or whatever you're using. And everything can be touched up. But I like that because it's a little brighter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, but that's as far as I want that to go because... And you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go. Maybe I want her to have little... No, I don't. I don't. Change my mind! Which we're allowed to do. Now what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of the black and mix it in with that blue with one of my smaller brushes. But I don't want harsh black. I'm going to just wipe some of it off because I want that to be my band. gonna match to be matchy so I needed black anyway that's how you find out you, you just do it you do it but what I'm gonna do is dry it again that becomes my gesso now because I can put black over it but you want to dry you don't want to do it wet if you do it wet it's not gonna work out for ceramic coat block and then just kind of over. I'm gonna add sparkles to that like some glitter once it's dry so it looks a little fancier because we like it fancy I know I'm a little quiet. Sorry, I've got my tongue stuck out. Concentrating. Yeah, just kind of giving her her band. And you know what else I'm going to do? I think I might throw a cup or a cup, some, uh, what's it called, glitter over that too. Over her hair. But I'm okay with that. Really okay. Now, I'm going to take my you can use whatever you have. Um, I, I love using the Energel liquid uh, gel inks. They're black. They usually write over uh, acrylic paint and everything for that. Yeah, everything like that for me. Couldn't think. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to trace. And you see how it just makes it pop more? But you can use your markers, you can use your Copics, you can use your Bix, you can use your Sharpies, you can use whatever you want. Some people don't like to do this, so don't do it. It's all what you want and how you want it. Fly her eyes a little bit more. I'm gonna just do her nose. Outline her lips. Yeah. 
and I'm going to outline the flowers. And it doesn't have to be spot on, just, just give it a little bit of structure. This way. See how it just makes it stand out just a little bit? It's like illustration, almost. I'm not an illustrator. I didn't mean it like that. But you know what I mean? It just kind of makes it uh, pop out a little bit more. As I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because you still have your structure from your uh, yellow in there. And that's still there. But if you want to be spot on and trace everything spot on or you don't want to do this part, by all means, don't. Just when I think of summer and all, I love flowers and, you know, we all pull our hair up or, you know, you pick a flower, you smell the flowers, all that fun stuff. But see how nice that adds just a little bit of something there. Now I can see here on my face, it's, it looks a little, I don't know, uneven in a sense, but in all honesty, you know, it depends on how the face is, uh, Posing, you know, what way it's looking, what it's looking at, the way the hair is laying on it. So that's why I would say you don't get caught up on little things like that because it really just doesn't matter. You know, you're just creating and having a good time. So I'm going to use, let's see, where is it? I'm going to use a little sparkle. I'm going to use some glitter. Oh, where'd it go? Here it is. In my flower, I'm just going to, because you got to glitter stuff up. I'm just going to put little dots, like I'm drawing with it, to add a little sparkle. See how that adds Get some blue and then I'll hold it up. This is a little dark green. That's not going to work. Keep grabbing the wrong color. And again, just a little, little like, just going to add a little bit of glow, a little bit of glow, glitter, glue, whatever it is, glitter, glue. I'm even going to put a little sparkle in her eye. All right, and then I'm going to do the band, and then I'll lift it up so you guys can see how that looks. See the glitter? I don't know how well you can see it, but it really does add a nice pop to it. And I wanted to do flowers down here, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to stick with, um, hmm, 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 hmm. I'm going to add a little bit of... You know what, maybe I'll use my pen, my gel pen here. A little 
a shine on her lips. And then in her eye. And let's see. What can I put down there? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I can do, I think those are too, too much right there. How about, of a flower that goes over all of it and then I can yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it in black I'm gonna do it in archival ink in black I'm just gonna probably not good to stamp on your put your ink on your paper while you're on this because you see what happened to me it falls everywhere all right so I'm just gonna pat it like that make sure your hands are clean so you don't get you know when you turn it over make sure you have it the way you want it to be formed which I think I want mine like this and then I'm gonna lay it right like that and give it a push push it real good okay I have my flower in there, so that's good. I'm gonna hit it with my heat gun just to dry it. All right. Now what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to take some of my, use your gesso or whatever you have, take your small paintbrush, dry it off, make sure it's not going to leak, take a little bit of your, and go in, in between, try not to cover up the pattern, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Cause it's just going to give it some really good color where, you know, color and a not color. It's all over. It's how you want it. I think I'm going to do this bright pink. You really just want to go like where it's covering the red, just to give it a little bit of a pop there when you put the color on. So it won't blend with the red. It'll do its own popping. It's popping. And it is important to use water, uh, permanent waterproof uh, ink pad. But if you don't have it, you just go with the flow and, you know, then you get nice watercolor look. Because that's kind of what it's going to be like. So I'm just going to add some of this in here. Go over it lightly. So I can lay that in there. All right. That's all I want to do. And then I'm going to take. 
take some pink. I'm going in. You can use uh, colored pencils. You can use watercolor pencils, which that would be great. I'll show you what I'm going to do once these are all done. You know what I'm going to do? I'm changing this really quick. Here's what I'm doing. I know. It's scary. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint a blob. You guys know where I'm going with this? Because I just started doing this and my fiber is kicking my butt with my neck and I have to sit down and do all this little, little stuff. I just can't. I just can't. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And I do this quite a bit when I'm doing stuff. And you'll see, and you'll be like, oh yeah, that's it's much easier and works just as good. Can you guys tell where I'm going out with this? All right, so get all your colors in there. Still use your guidelines, but color, you know, paint in a little bit. You don't have to stay on all the points, though. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just doing this. Covering it in. Okay. That's going in there. I'm putting this on here. I'm going to blow this dry for a second. Okay, I'm not going to worry how dry it is, I'm just not going to worry, but I'm going to take my ink pad again and I'm going to ink it up, ink it up, ink it up, ink it up. And then I'm going to match it. the way I stamped it and I'm gonna just set it on here and hope doesn't matter if it doesn't work perfectly but you're gonna give it a press everywhere you're gonna lift it up and look at that and you have all now I could have left it dry a little bit more probably would have come out a little bit uh, sharper but I don't care I like it I like it yeah all right. And you can go in and highlight or do whatever you want, but why? It looks good. I'll leave it like that. And I think that's about it. That's all I'm going to do on this. I probably have kept you here way longer than I should have. Now, what I'll probably end up doing is taking... I'm going to edit the hair a bit because the hair is bothering me, but it happens. It happens. I'm just going to take my finger, a little bit of this, and I'm going to kind of just go in here and edit that a bit and this is how you can edit I love teaching I love when I want to change things or I make a mistake or you know after everything's done I'm like oh, I'm not really digging that so what that's going to do is cut that hair down for me and I want to make it like so it has some body so I'm going to kind of go like that and that's all I got to do with that that'll dry but that's going to cut that for me so it's not so puffy there and then I think over here I'm okay I'm not hating I'm not hating it um the eyes look good she looks good when this is all dry if you want to hit that with the heat gun the flower throw some glitter on it that is fantastic but let me show you real quick and then 
I'm going to put this video in fast forward as well for people who don't want to sit and watch me because I know I have a lot of people that love to sit and watch while I do this, like while I art from, and talk from uh, start to finish. And I know there's people that don't like it, so it'll be both. So I'm just going to keep going this for a second. And while that's doing that, I'm going to take my jelly, my jelly roll. And I'm going to go in and just do a little bit of white. Just to whiten her eyes a bit. But you don't have to. You can use paint. You can use whatever you have. Just gives her, it just brightens them up a little bit. And then I think I'm not liking, so I'm going to feel this. Let's see. Feel dry? Not dry. Fast. Sweet. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of this and just kind of rub it in here. And a little bit of tight and buff. Mellow that out a bit. Okay, come on now. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, just a little, a little less. Because with the flower, it kind of competes, and I don't want that. Yeah. Then I can go in and frame that out with the uh, other stuff. So that's good. Okay. So what was I going to do? I was just going to do something. Oh. The hair. So I'm going to take this yellow and I'm just going to put a drop there. I'm going to take my brush, dry it off, and go in. And add that in and what I want to do is add some how am I going to do this so let me tell you I want some green and some let's do some blue <clears throat> all right shake these up what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cover her face I'm not worried about her hair too much or anything like that, so don't worry. I'm going to take some of the stencils that I used. I'll do this one over there. We'll do that first. I'm going to take some Shimmer Mist uh, Turquoise and do like that just to add that little bit there. And it's just going to come in like mixed media. That's what mixed media is. Just having a ball, having a ball. If it goes over too much and you don't like it, just dab it off. This does dry permanent, but while it's wet, you can definitely work with it. And you can add more water to lift it up, but you don't have to. I like, I like that. I don't, it doesn't bother me too much. Um, so we have some over there and then we can turn it over here. Just keep the face covered. And it just comes out everywhere. So nice, so nice. And then let's do some green. I'm gonna use the circles. Let me know down below anybody who wants the circle, like if you guys would buy cheaply, but the circle templates. Add some circles there, circles there. It's on her hair, I don't care. Don't care. There. I love the sprays.
And then if you push it over in your art journal or a page or whatever, and you lift it up, you get this great, great uh, prints. And that's exciting. All right, I'm just gonna go with my finger before this dries and kind of wipe off that. I don't care, it just adds, it adds deliciousness. And then I'm gonna go in for the last thing and then I'm gonna let you go. Because you guys have been with me a long time and I don't know, I always say, if you guys are still with me, say avocado. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. We're just gonna kind of have it watered down a little bit. Just like to add a little bit of that. I love her face. I'm not even gonna mess with the little eyelids and all because I like it. And then, like I said, you can go on and you can add a, a, a saying. What I like is, let's wipe this off before I end up with it everywhere all over me, which I'm already full of paint. But what, what would I write? Oh, you know what else would be nice in here is some back on, some highlights with the flower, like with uh, your gel pen, just to add some a little bit of highlights. Because I can see some of the white coming through a little bit where I didn't stamp as good, and I like it. So I'll just trace over some lines. Just adds a little highlights to it but i'm happy i'm i like it i hope you enjoyed my video for love summer arts um i'm also going to add it in quick speed for those of you who do not like to sit and uh watch long videos but these are like i said it's for my girls um i love my girls so i gotta put uh gotta put it on here but this is it and like i said this is just a quick i mean it wasn't that quick i sat and enjoyed myself while i did it so <laughs> A little longer than uh, usual, but I like doing this and I know a lot of you like watching. So check out everybody again. It's hashtag, hashtag love summer art in your YouTube search bar. And let me know what you guys think. Um, I've decided that I'm going to start with my long videos like this. I'm also going to put up versions of them in high speed with music because a lot of people like that or even some that I will talk over. Um, so then everybody kind of gets what they want because a lot of you like this and then a lot of you write me and they want some fast ones in as well. So let me know what you guys think about that down there. And I love you guys so very much and thanks for sticking with me. And I think she's going to be up, uh, for a giveaway. I don't know. Let me know what, down below what you guys think. So I love you guys. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I can't stress that enough. And I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.